Hey, 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 this is Beverly and I will not be denied. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to share this broadcast with your friends and with your family. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And again, thank you for stopping by. So my thought for today is declare with me today, God hears me. Declare with me today, God hears me. When you say, God hears me, it is going to give you a boost of confidence. Not a confidence that makes you feel like you can run through a brick wall or wrestle a bear. It's the kind of confidence that makes you feel like, I can make it through this. Or, I'm okay. It's that quiet confidence where you don't have to tell anybody and it's just for you. It's just so that you can make it to the next minute even. It doesn't have to represent anything that's super grand. Sometimes we just got to make it to the next minute or the next day or just get out of that particular situation. And declaring God hears me, that gives you a type of confidence that's necessary while you're in that particular situation. So I wanted to share like three tips with you. And I've tried them, and that's how I know that God hears me. And I declare it on a regular basis, God, I know you hear me. Not like hands on hip. Now, I know you hear me talking to you. I know you hear me over here crying. It's just from the depths of my soul, I know you hear me. You hear my cries. You hear my prayers. You hear my declarations. And, and, it's, and it's in confidence. It's asking God to really help me and I know that you will right so one of the first things that you would need to do when you declare that God hears me is to make sure that you are sincerely talking to God like like you're talking to like your best friend or your your mom or whoever is the closest to you in a situation to where like I just got to talk even if it's a counselor or a therapist and you trust that person with your your mindset and your heart talk to god in that same way with sincerity i mean he knows everything anyways but he just wants to have you to say i trust you enough god to where i can just share this with you with my whole entire heart be sincere that's number one number two is be still. After you talk to God with sincerity, you have got to take the time to be still, like physically and mentally be still. It doesn't have to be a whole day to where you don't talk to people and you're locked inside your room. It doesn't have to be that extreme. If that's what you choose to do and you can, then, you know, go ahead and do that. But being still can be a five minute effort. You're sitting still in your car. If you have to go in the bathroom and shut the door, if you have a busy household, it doesn't have to be quiet. Preferably, yes. But you have to learn how to steal your mind. Our minds are constantly rolling and rolling and rolling from things from the past, concerns for the future, the to-do list, what we heard outside, something that we saw on social media because we're constantly feeding ourselves with images and sounds and other people's conversations. But when we take the time to literally be still physically and still our minds, that's when I think I haven't like read it anywhere or had any proof, but I believe when we sit still and we be quiet and try to train our minds to not go on and on and on, that's when God can speak to us. And we might hear right away, or he could plant some seeds in us. And those seeds will pop up later with answers and encouragement and whatever that we're asking God for, some type of direction. So you have to take the time and you have to find a way to be still and quiet your mind. And number three, you have to believe that he hears you. You have to have the faith. Like I say, God, I know you hear me. 
I know you do. If nobody hears what I say, I know that God hears what I say. I believe it. I absolutely positively believe it. And you have to believe it too, because you have to have a sense of expectation that he hears you in whatever it is that you are sincerely talking to him about. And being still and quieting your mind is an act of faith. You're saying, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to still my mind, God, so that you can speak to me. I might not hear you right away, but I'll hear you when it's time because those seeds can shoot up overnight or they can shoot up in 15 minutes. And I believe, God, that you hear me. And in the divine time, you're going to speak to me. So wrapping it all up, point one or number one is you have to sincerely talk to God from your heart. Number two, you have to be still at some point, physically be still and quiet your mind. And then number three, you have to believe that he hears you. All right, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to release your genius, pull off the impossible every day. And remember, you will have whatever it is that you say. So be positive when you speak.